that time again. Time for another solo overnight in the woods. <sighs> Looking around here, kind of sad, kind of depressed. Everybody's spinning tales and yarns about snowmageddon, snow apocalypse, and what I'm seeing right now is business as usual. Not enough snow on the ground to do what I want, so I'm going to shift gears. Last spring, a backpacking tent caught my eye. I was like, hmm, I want that. But it was too late in the year to do what I wanted. So, high of 20, low of 10, get ready for a solo overnight in the woods in a backpacking hot tent. So you can see, we had freezing rain here. Even though it was like 20 degrees outside, it was just frozen rain. So it mixed with the snow and created this icy concoction of bull crap. No snow shelter this week. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon Influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, they can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box.
Okay, so far so good, we're looking outstanding. Okay, so here's the um, truth behind this. I ordered this bad boy, I wanna say, on February the 8th. Next day delivery, doesn't happen. Three days later, doesn't happen. Five, six days later, doesn't happen. So now we get hit with all these storms. Still doesn't happen. So I hit up UPS and said, hey, where's my stove? They're like, yeah, bro, we're not gonna deliver because of the icy roads. If you want it, better come and get it. So that's what I did. So what we're doing right now is our initial burn-in. It's always a good practice to, well, when you get a titanium stove like this, burn the bad boy in. The reason why is because you wanna make sure that the, all the chemicals and smells and everything fits up properly, you're not leaking anywhere, and it's basically good to go. So once we're done with this, let it cool down, get it inside the tent. Until then, got a few more projects to get started.
not bad for a hasty improvised sled and it works. Now I can get out here, move around, collect some firewood up and get a fire going. But one more project I have in mind here and I'm thinking there's snow everywhere. Why walk down to a creek? All my water's right here. I have to melt it first. So let's make a snow machine. Okay, so taking our middle stick, we're going to spin it. And in doing that, it's going to tighten that loop up and create a hasty tripod or an improvised tripod. Non-load bearing, if you would. So think of it like anything that you're going to have involving a structure or a raised bed. You're going to want to do a traditional tripod lash for the strength. Something like a snow machine or something for a tripod cooker. Something over a campfire, hang a bush pot. Toss a loop around it, spin that middle stick, and you're good to go. And one more. Look at that. Behold the snow machine. All right, some people are like, snow machine, what's that? Does it make snow? Does it make snow cones? No, so what you do is you simply fill this shamog up with snow, pack it in. Then get your fire started, grab some coals, place it underneath here, place a bush pot inside of it. And it simply warms the snow enough to melt through the shamog, sort of a pre-filter, get all the dirt and leaves out of it, into your nesting cup or bush pot. From that point, you can take it and boil that water and it's disinfected and you're good to go. It saves me time for running back and forth to a creek and I'll have a ample water supply at all times.
I too drink water for what it is. Okay, so here's something that is rarely talked about on YouTube. And if you watch certain YouTubers, or most YouTubers, you see people standing up, I mean standing completely upright, flailing around with a small pack axe like this. This one right here happens to be about 16 and a half inches. And you'll see them standing up just going like this, glancing blows, and it's just going back and forth. And you're like, oh, and you're just surprised and amazed how they haven't cut their leg off yet. Knees shoulder width apart. Gauge my distance. Voila. Now say for example that occurs. All you gotta do, flip it over, hit it right here on the pole, and that shock wave should fall all the way through, splitting that log. Boom. Let's go ahead and pause for a minute. If you like what you see here, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app, and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. Steak and eggs, baby. Actually, it's a ribeye. That's outstanding. Look at that chunk of meat. Oh, man. Mm. Someone's going to say it, so I'll address it. Two fires? That's just stupid. Well, A, we're making water with our snow machine. And B, steak should be cooked on open flames, especially out in the woods. Mm. Catch you all in a few. Mm. Tell you what, I am happy with this. Let's talk about it really quick. It's a one tigress. Iron wall with a secondary bug net. Sold separately, but I went ahead and got them both. Combined weight with both of them, under five pounds. And it packs up into something about that big around, about that long. You can toss it in a pack or strap it to the bottom of the pack. Um, I'm happy with this. Most important feature though is that stove. Tell you what, man, winter well, folding titanium stove. The door is wide open. And that heat is just going up and just landing on me. I'm probably gonna have to shed <laughs> layers, be laying here naked and afraid or something because I'll tell you what, um, I wanted to bring a wool blanket out here, but being 18 degrees Fahrenheit tonight, swag man roll and 
fully clothed would probably be good enough because that thing is insane. Um, I'm happy with that. Expensive AF, but well worth it. Um, folds up, weighs less than two pounds. Maybe two pounds if we're lucky. Maybe, at most. But I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to get settled in for the night. Um, check back with me in a few minutes. So here's our Shamog basket, which was full. And we have a two-quart container there. And there's still room left in it. I'm willing to bet you by the time we melt all this snow, we'll just have two quarts of water. So that goes along with what we talked about earlier about how snow is mostly air. Water is water, and ice is probably about 75 to 80% water. So, you know, keep that in mind. So we have our twin size wool blanket I'm gonna use for a pillow, and I have my Swagman blankie. If I get too cold, I can swap them out. But I'm telling you right now, closing that door, it probably jumped about 15 degrees in here. That stove is awesome. So the tent, 180 bucks for both parts here. Um, and I'm happy with that, that's doable. I can use this bad boy all year round and that stove, phenomenal. Very impressed with that. Um, hopefully I can use it some more. It's not the shelter that I wanted. I wanted a snow shelter, like I talked about earlier, but got to roll with them punches. So we shift gears and move on, continue to march. That's how we do it at Corporal's Corner. And as always, to my legions, thank you for everything. I can't say it enough, I can't stress it enough. Without you all, I'm nothing. I ask that you just keep on doing what you're doing. Watch my videos all the way to the end. Find YouTube's recommended playlist, scroll through that bad boy, find me, and play that next video. Show YouTube you want Corporal's Corner, and I'm going to help give you Corporal's Corner. Got a lot of things coming up. Springtime, summertime, I'm just waiting for them to pop off, and I'm not going to give anything away, but we're talking badassery. So we had to shift gears from the snow shelter that I wanted because the snowfall sucked, but we roll with them punches. Pick up our pack and continue to march. So once again, thank you for everything you're doing. Just keep on doing what you're doing. And I appreciate everything you're doing and every single one of you. Thank you. I can already hear it right now. The uh, snowfall has actually switched to rain, so that sucks. But we'll find out in the morning what happened. I got enough wood over here to keep this thing probably about 70 degrees all night. And. Uh, it's still early. It's really early. But all that work and <clears throat> got that ribeye floating around my stomach. I'll tell you what, about ready to punch out protein style. <sighs> Catch you all in the morning. Almost out of wood too, got like one piece left. So cut some more wood, stoke this bad boy up, morning coffee. Yeah.
go ahead and talk about this shelter real quick. Um, something different. It's always good to go out and uh, tent camp every once in a while, and you find something like this. Like I said, I'm very happy. Um, people have negative opinions about one tigress, but this one tigress iron wall, I'm happy with it. And I can use it for spring and summertime as well, especially out here in the eastern woodlands. Uh, mosquitoes and ticks everywhere. Get inside here and zip it up and I'm good to go. Um, 180, 188 bucks for both pieces, like I said, and I'm happy with that. There was no problem last night. I'm not wet, there's no water in here at all. That stove about run me out of here though. So be careful with that. I thought, well, I'll put about one third wood. Yeah, well, it was so hot that I had to open the door and vent it several times. So, but there's no burn marks. There's no hot spots, there's nothing melted in here. That heat just goes up and comes right back down. So, the Swagman roll, perfect. I'm happy with this. Ultralight hot tent, backpacking hot tent. I think I found it. So, I'm happy with this. Another one for the books. Thanks for watching. And there you go. Solo overnight with an ultralight backpacking hot tent. It doesn't get much better than that. And it just goes to show that you don't need a full-size sled, a large canvas hot tent, and a team of dogs to get you out for the weekend. You can get something like this, put it in a backpack, and you're good to go for two or three days. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, it can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.